archaeologist. Well, it's got a nice patina on it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Snowing. Yep. <laughs> Got the seam going all the way up, so this is post Civil War, late 1800s. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Which again, I, most of what I'm seeing here, that's that's kind of the angle this is going towards, with a few early hangers on. Right. But again, where you are in this fill, that's that's totally normal. That's a little early. This is a hand applied top. You can tell that pretty pretty easily if right. you look in here is right. how this is right. the, the the lip is applied to the neck here. Yep. You can see how it's, it, it, it looks totally face. different. You know. They, so this is done in a mold probably, and this one is uh, is hand done and then applied. Although no, I don't see a mold line on this, so no, it isn't. No, I thought it was pre blown. It probably is molded up to the shoulder. Ah. Would be my guess. But I don't know. You might be able to get. Some good comparative stuff on and see what this is better. Yep. I'm just doing a little research. I on think that. it's about our earliest one, and then a more feather edge. Yep. And then here's that that same yellow wear within that darker right. Uh, right. glaze on the exterior of it. Yep. I mean, I've seen people call this um, Rockingham. I don't know that that it that it is per se, but. Thick that is right there. In the, uh, that's pooled in there. Mm -hmm. It really mm -hmm. almost looks like glass. Yep. Yep. Okay. <coughs> so uh, life is your oyster. Oyster. Or is it oyster? <laughs> yep. Very common. Oh my gosh! Did they ship oysters here to St. Louis? Yeah. In the late 1800s, they, yeah. they were coming up in you know train loads. It was just a hot, hot thing. You find these oyster shells all over downtown here. Really? Yep. Yeah, this is very common. Broad stroke blue. That's early pre-Civil War. Pearl wear. This is this is 1800-ish, right yeah. around. It's turn of the century there. This is yeah. old. Yeah. No doubt, this is old. This is prop maybe your oldest Stuff. ceramic so far that okay. I've seen. Okay. Yeah, this is nice. It's pearl wear. Um, with the broad, you can get pearl wear with broad stroke blue. The hand, this is hand paint. They call it broad stroke blue because first it's blue, and it's broad brush strokes, so it's broad stroke blue. Um, and you can see it in polychrome, many colors, too. I don't know where all your students are, but so you can you can see see those. But this is the earliest um, that you find here in, in this part of the country, uh, and it's pearl wear. And this is this is beautiful. This would have been absolutely beautiful to see. Yep. Couple pieces. Yep. yep. That's early. Yep. A lot of fresh breaks on that too. <laughs> yeah. um, well, you know, I told you reverse stratigraphy that came in the very upper layer. Upper layer. See, and you could very well. That's have where. That. I mean, yep. honestly, we we were using. It's not your students didn't do this. My point is, this yep. is these are recent breaks. Yeah. Um, you've got rust in it, but there's no real dirt embedded in it, so it's it's pretty recent. I know it's been cleaned, but right, still, right. you would see a little bit of dirt left yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. That's neat. Those are nice, nice, nice pieces. Okay, here is the weird insulator. This is a toggle switch, man. I know you didn't find wire. It's a toggle switch. Yeah, I saw your picture on Facebook. I mean, it is. That's exactly what this but is. The one, okay, the, I'm not, I'm, I'm just saying the one that you got in Facebook <laughs> has two holes coming up there mm -hmm. for, I guess, the wire coming in and out. But this had the wire going in. The toggle is right there. Yep. Oh yeah, and that's that's absolutely what this is. And there's plenty of room in there for that because I mean, if you look, I mean that switch only comes out like this far. Yeah. On any of them that yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, by the way, that photo comes from a really cool online museum or from a museum website. Um, really interesting stuff. But um, that's what it is. 1940s. Yeah. So. And then this was also. I guess part of another form of an insulator form. Yeah, this is just a routing. Uh, this would just route wire Yeah. Uh, from one place to another. Maybe it's coming around a pole or something like that, and a wire yeah. would come through here. And, and they're never perfect. They're always a little bit off yeah, center. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. never seem to get it right. Yeah, yeah. But that's what that looks like. It's just a small insulator. 
Okay. So, oh, nice stopper. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. This is actually probably early 1900s. Okay. It's completely molded. Yep, yep. Seam along the sides. Yep. Goes all the way even around <laughs> even around there. Yep. That's some of that same plate I, I'm just uh, thinking or it might be a similar I don't remember, I'd have to look at it again. This I think we have that this spot on both. I'm not sure they were the same, but they might be. I don't remember. Um, this is pearl wear. Yep. This is this is early light blue transfer wear. Um, versus dark blue. Yeah, that's right, how I would right, classify it. Right, right. Um, if you want to find out the most about historic ceramics, go to the collector's books. Those people put their money where their mouth is. Archaeologists don't do that. So archaeologists should just guess. But collectors, they got to pinpoint it because they're spending money on it and they're, they're buying back and forth. Yeah. And I, I trust them more than I do most archaeological <laughs> publications yeah. because I believe that they, they, they really know. put yeah. more effort into it. So, if you want to, you want to get good reference books. If you're going into historic archaeology, go to big antique malls where they have those big groups of books. Uh, but don't just get price guides; those are worthless. They're literally worthless. You got to get the ones that give you the history, the the name of the patterns, when they were used, their prime period. There are plenty of books out there that do that, and that's what I've got. Big shelf full of that stuff for that, especially. So, if you want some help with the transfer prints patterns, I've got some great books for those. So, you know, we need to figure out a day when you're going to be on campus and I'll pop over and look at this. I'm there all summer. Yeah. 